Charles Garland was a telegraphist working in the GPO. At the turn of the last century, boys were coming in from Orpington, Sevenoaks and Chislehurst, absolutely fit. And in less than six months, they had tuberculosis. And some research was done and it was found that the mailbags which were being dragged along the platforms of Charing Cross, Waterloo and Paddington stations, the general public unknowingly had got tuberculosis. They were spitting on the platforms, the TB got in the dust, the dust got in the mailbags and when these were emptied at the sorting offices, the bugs were all airborne. And Charles Garland took a train from Charing Cross to Cranbrook and uh, here with three small holdings for sale. These were purchased by the National Sanatorium Association and first patient was received here in 1907. And of course in the beginning x-rays weren't there. So it was stethoscope and the like to diagnose the disease. And then it was overcome by fresh air and diet, so all patients to bed in the beginning and assessed. And their first grading was OTL1, which was out to lavatory once. After that, it was OTW, which was out to wash. The next grade was two, up for two hours in the afternoon. Up for four hours, six hours, eight hours, and then a grading which was UAD, which was up all day. And then you put your shoulder to the wheel, so in the grounds doing light jobs, weeding, and when the patients were up all day, you could begin to think of having a visitor. But you could only come when the patient was negative, not positive, to keep control of the infection. On the whole, patients were here for a period of something like two years. And after two years, you were drummed out by the patients, which they called discharge ceremony.